Hello. Today I will review a new AI writing tool called Zupiak. I'm not sure if I am reading it correctly, but I will be pronouncing it as Zupiak. It recently hit up Sumo, and you are able to get this in two licensed tier plans. To focus this video only on features, I will do a review of the deal as a separate short video. And I will leave the link to the review of the deal and to the tool in the description. I'm excited to tell you about uh, Zupiak because for me it looks like a very interesting and unique tool. We'll see what is the flow and uh, user experience in generating content. But what they do differently is that they have their own content platform where you can publish your articles. They give you a basic free plan so you can test the tool yourself. And for $19 you get 10 articles per month. And actually for Zupiak Pro plan you get unlimited articles. These two plans correlate to two licensed tiers which are available on AppSumo. Please check the link in the description. So, what are the unique features that Zupiak offers? Well, they claim that they can suggest you ideas. I don't think that it's a unique feature. In modern AI writers, you can get suggestions on topic ideas, but we'll see how it works here. Another interesting claim is that they will provide you SEO keywords suggestions so we can optimize better your content. We'll check that as well. Some other AI writers also try to do some basic keyword research, but in my experience it's better to have a separate tool for your keyword search. And the most unique feature is that you can publish your content on Zubiak platform. So who may need that feature? For example, if we check testimonials, Anna is uh, an owner of a jewelry store and maybe she doesn't have her own website where she can publish content to promote her store. So with this tool, she would be able to create an article and publish it here on Zupiak. I will show you some examples later. What is interesting about Zupiak, I actually very like their testimonials because I've never seen such good implementation of this. For example, we can see that Accordia likes the tool and we can get the profile on Upwork of the person who left the testimonial. Another example, Peter considers this tool to be better than Copy AI. And here is the profile of Peter. So Anna is the owner of jewelry store and here's her shop. Just very nice touch on testimonials. And overall, uh, I have a feeling looking at their website that they are for a long time in the content business because their site looks very professional and I would say content oriented. I did some research about this tool. So these are the founders. They provide some information about their content platform. Basically, anyone can register on their platform and post any article. The topics are very broad. Honestly, I'm not sure if you will be able to rank for your article. And before I will show you some examples, I would like to show what problem they try to solve. They consider the tools uh, available for content writing and specifically for SEO optimized content. These tools are too complex and they try to simplify the process. And to give you an example, here is one of the articles. You create the content with Zupiak AI writing tool and you have an option to publish it here. And maybe you'd like to leave a link to your product or your social media page or whatever you would like to promote. And maybe the promise is that Zupiak has some domain authority and that your content should run higher. But of course, to rank any text-based content, you need to promote it yourself and 
better to earn more backlinks to your content. It doesn't matter if it's on Zupiac platform or on your own website. I tried to see if some content ranks on Google, only get some content adding Zupiac. And actually then I saw a content popping up in Google. Quick check for the visits, just to give rough estimates. They have some traffic to their site. And for me, it seems that they were a content platform before, and just recently they pivoted to add AI writing feature. All right, let's jump into the review of the functionality of Zupiak. That's how main page looks like. So you have main sections, my articles, keyword section and article ideas. So I would like to test all these. I have my idea for the keyword. Let's see if I can get some article ideas from this tool. Okay, blog post or article, I'm not sure what is the difference. Let it be a blog post. I think I'm interested in different ideas, not mainstream, not wild ideas. I just need to get some ideas how to make money with digital art. Let's see what the tool will provide us with. And honestly, I'm very surprised for the quality of the suggested topics in a good way. For example, I like this topic, the challenges and realities of making money with digital art, exploring misconceptions, honest look on competitive nature, because nowadays everybody can generate digital art, exploring financial risks, debunking the myth. And I like that it even suggested a non-monetary topic. I would save all the topics for later. Okay, that was the topic generator. So after saving my topic ideas, they are available in this section at my article ideas. Let's check a keyword recommender. Honestly, I like the animation. Okay, it gave the ideas and actually it was able to separate keywords into several sections because certain art prints is related to digital art, online art courses, digital art, I'm not sure, I'm very satisfied with the keywords provided. Let's save a few. Regarding keywords, I think you will still need a separate powerful tool. Okay, so let's move next to article generator and AI writer. Let's get this title from the suggested ones because I really like how it sounds. Now let's move to article generator. That's going to be a blog post. Not sure what is the difference between article and blog post. Moving next, let's target for United States. And here's our title. Audience, let it be digital art creators. And the tone of voice, let it be friendly. So in the step four, it actually suggested a few more titles. I'll stay with my initial one. It suggested few keywords, but I don't like these keywords. Maybe they intend this tool to be as simple as possible. For example, if you own an e-commerce store and you don't want to dig into the topic of keyword research, but I'm not sure if your article will be successful if you don't optimize for a keyword that you want. But anyway, let's try with suggested keywords. It took about 30 seconds or maybe a bit less than a minute. And after the article was generated, you are moved into AI writer. So let's check the content. Actually, this workflow may work 
for someone who is not interested in doing a keyword research, not sure if it's a wise choice to do so. However, it covered the topic for a short medium article. So it gave 600 words. I have requested the article to be medium. I would consider this amount uh, small. Though it covered the topic, I like how intro sounds. Actually, it covers alternative revenue streams in digital art industry, for example, art licensing. And then it explores several more topics, how to sell digital arts, for example, reaching marketplaces, working with prints and NFTs, and some other services. Okay, let's test additional features of the AI writer. So we can generate a paragraph. It shows the output in real time. Maybe it would be better just to spit out the content uh, right away. So we can add it to our blog post. So it broadly covers the topic without any particular specific, like mentioning a particular platform like Redbubble, for example. Let's test another tool which is available. Look up for a keyword for SEO. Okay, so for this keyword it shows low volume and that the difficulty is easy. I'm not sure that I agree with this evaluation. For example, in Ubersuggest, the volume is low as well. However, the difficulty is not easy and it shows that you need to have a lot of backlinks to rank in top 10. So as I stated before, for proper keyword research, you will still need a separate tool. And from the tools, they also have a summarizer. So actually, let's summarize this content because we didn't get a conclusion paragraph. It seems it really gave the summary of the article, but not exactly in the form of conclusion paragraph. So with some editing, probably you will still be able to use this as the conclusion paragraph. We can actually save the content. Moving next, let's test the most unique feature of Zupiak, publishing content on their own platform. Okay, let it be this one. Okay, let's try it. So now we have our content published to their platform. So actually this might be a pretty interesting feature as I mentioned before, for example, if you're an owner of an e-commerce store and you don't want to manage a separate website for publishing a content to promote your store, you can actually use Zupiak to create content and publish in one place. But it doesn't mean that Zupiak will be promoting your content better than if you would do it in your own website. So to get noticed, you will still need to promote the content yourself through social media, asking to link to this content if you hope to get your content ranked in Google. Okay, I would like to give another quick test for the article generator. Now I will use article and request long content and I would like to use my keyword in the title, maybe modifying it a bit to be more specific. Okay, moving next. Let's skip the audience. So on this tab, it suggests you some other titles and you cannot modify the titles here. Again, probably this is done for the sake of the simplicity and the speed of generating articles. Moving next. Okay, here in other tools, you usually get to choose subheadings of the paragraphs. 
And in this tool, you have suggested keywords. For my taste, I would like to have more control on this tab, but let's use the keywords that they suggest. So there is actually a section below where you can add your own keywords. But I don't want to do that. I would like the tool to suggest me the topics. Okay, these topics seem to be valid. We can generate article skipping keywords. Let's see what it will get us. So first of all, again, the word count is about 600 words, which is not a long content. I would expect about 2000 words. When we didn't choose a keywords, we actually got some brief paragraphs, which are on topic. You can sell prints, open an online store, commissions, collaborators, brands, teaching creative tutorials. Yeah, it seems like a short and concise article. So it actually gave us what we asked for. I just wanted it to provide more content. Okay, let's get another quick test of the AI writer. And let's see how well this content is optimized for this keyword. I copied and pasted the output into NeuronWriter. It measures the optimization for this keyword. I just added title, base text into description, and just pasted the content here. And it is somewhat optimized, of course, to increase your chances to rank, we are way less in the number of words, way less than we need. Though the base score is, I would say, it's a good start. And to beat your competitors, of course, you will need to do a lot more in the area of optimization for NLP keywords. Okay, let's move to the conclusion and my final thoughts about this tool. I think you need to have the right expectations from this tool because it delivers what it promises. It generates content automatically. It suggests you the topics. And this, this part of the tool I was very satisfied with. It gave very interesting suggestions for the topic. You can get basic SEO keyword suggestions you can use this feature in this tool if you don't want to invest in other tool and if you want to get your content out quickly. And again, you can publish your content on Zupiak platform, so you don't have to manage your own WordPress site, for example. And I think this tool has its niche. Like if you're owner of an online store, you are starting a new online business and you want to focus on business creation and you don't want to spend a lot of time on content creation. If you are not familiar with other AI content generators, this tool may be actually a good start. It might not be the best of the best regarding optimizations, but it will get you started quickly. So you will get your content quicker out to the internet and you will not be blocked or overwhelmed with the with features that you don't need in other AI writers. So actually, it may be a great start. You may try this tool. I will leave the link to it in the description. Also, you may have a chance to get this tool on a lifetime deal. As well, please check the link in the description regarding the length of the content. I would expect it to generate uh, longer content. But if you have unlimited plan, you can play with this tool and see if you like the output or not. All right, so that concludes my review of the Zupiak tool. Please give this video a like and subscribe for more similar content. Thank you. See you in the next one.